Um, I said, don't, I don't want to go with Ludo, but it did anyway. Uh, and then I So, what's the plan? Let me focus us. What's this for? My Where video, is this going? My YouTube. Do you not want to be in it? I can block you out if you want. Alright, behind the scenes, in the camera press room, we're going to head out in a second to go see the discus and like the long jump. We're going to wait for our bibs though, we can't go anywhere without bibs. We are gathered here today to pay tribute to that great letter W and the wondrous sound it makes. done now I was super super nervous all these guys over here from like like Channel 4 and BBC and stuff like that and like I've never done an interview like I mean I've done one which was last week properly before with these athletes they've just come off there's no messing up I was crazy nervous it went well though it went well I think now we're just gonna hang around a little bit see what happens James is here, the camera team have left us. James has the job of filming me watching something else, so we got it covered, we're good. Interviews are a lot harder than you'd expect, especially last week it was all like in a kind of uh, protected and controlled environment. Now it was like no safety net. It was like um, athletes coming straight off the track, they just won gold, interview them, don't mess it up. It went well though, and now we're gonna get some lunch I think and wait for the medals. I think what I found like really interesting about this whole experience was at the very beginning I was stressing out about what questions to ask, what research to do, I need to know every gold medal they've ever won and then I kind of took a step back and I thought hey I'm an adaptive athlete who's young, who's grown up with a disability that wants to get where these guys are. I just ha had such genuine questions and queries and you know how can you help me, what advice do you have for me and I feel like they were almost quite open to talking to me about that kind of stuff because it was almost like kind of chimed a bell, they had a certain empathy and it was almost like a certain connection that I could have with them that other able-bodied journalists couldn't have. I think for the first time in my life my disability became my strength um, and that was really kind of amazing for me actually. So thanks BP and The Telegraph for that awesome experience. I, did, I, I didn't think that that's something that I would take from it but it was pretty awesome. Perfectly BP'd up right now. Always on brand. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs>